Hello everyone, TDK here. So for those of you who have dog, at least for me, I've run into a situation where I need to leave my dog alone in the car for a little while. <clears throat> Let's say number two on the highway service station, for example, and there's only you. Well, of course we don't want any emergencies, but you know, shit happens in life. But now Tesla has this dog mode that lets your dog stay in the car comfortably alone. So to test and see if this is legit, we're going to have our talent guide you. Help us. Bye, Kaiju. Of course, we are not going to leave Kaiju alone for real. Besides a cam, we have another GoPro in the car as C cam. So with GoPro, you can check the live image on your phone uh, in a certain distance. So we're not gonna go far away, but of course, we're gonna stay out of Kaiju's sight. See if this is going to work or not. Let's take a look at Kaiju. He goes back to normal breathing in about 2 minutes. And for Bulldogs, it is super easy for them to get hot, especially in summer. The day we tested, the temperature is around 80 Fahrenheit, about 27 Celsius degrees. Cloudy sky with a little sunlight. So inside the car, it's like 82 Fahrenheit, about 28 Celsius degrees. It might sound okay, but with limited airflow inside the regular car, Leave your dog in there for a while could lead to some fatal situations. So I don't know, I've never put a dog alone in an electric car before. So I'm a little worried, but Kaiju, you're the dog, you can do this. Okay, I gotta say the dog mode is quite legit. Temperature is dropping quickly. As you can see here, I set the car temperature at 70 Fahrenheit for dog mode. And it only took about 3 minutes to drop from 81 to 70. Oh, and by the way, you can also change the temperature on your phone after you leave the car. So that's convenient. For the most part, Kaiju looks very comfy. The weather outside doesn't bother him at all. He's just chill. And chill. And chill. I would say dog mode overall is quite legit. The temperature cools down or warms up pretty quick and with it being electric car, you don't have to worry about carbon monoxide poisoning in parked car with running ACs. So yeah. We can finally put our dogs in the car alone. Okay, please don't do that unless it's super super necessary and it's an emergency. While it's cool that Tesla provides the feature and I really really appreciate it, but this shouldn't be the reason for us to leave our dog alone in the car. Thanks for watching and TDK will see you soon.